Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about Pepe. If you enjoy these Pepe updates, smash that like button. I'm sure if you watch my um, Dogecoin update just a few hours ago, you guys know today is a historic day. Not only is it the 2024 US election day, but you are also seeing Bitcoin hitting a new all-time high. Yes, you've heard that correct, guys. Bitcoin has hit an all-time high. And just based off of that itself, you are seeing the broader market reacting in a positive way. As you can see, you know, the broader market is up double digits right now. Pepe is up 16%. Let's take a closer look and see what is happening with the price of Pepe and of course what is yet to come. But before I do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So looking at the price, 94.15, still about five zeros in front of the price. Also up 6.2% in Bitcoin and Ethereum comparative. Market cap is almost approaching $4 billion and the 24-hour trading volume is at about $2.1 billion. So we're seeing a lot of excitement coming in. And um, I'm sure you guys are probably, you know, jumping all around right now because of the fact that, you know, Pepe is up double digits. But we need to understand the broader market is up, not just Pepe. But this is a good move. You know, look at the 24-hour trading volume jumping up to the likes of $2 billion, which is absolutely insane. So, you know, why is that the case? Um, what's basically happening is, of course, you know, the U.S. election, which, of course, was today. And I'm making these updates a little early, you know, the day of the election itself. Um, and you can see, you know, Donald Trump is in the lead. And, you know, this move that we're seeing is due to Donald Trump being in the lead as far as, you know, the market sentiment and, you know, what has being discussed, uh, you know, on Twitter and the crypto uh, industry. Uh, pretty much a lot of people are excited because, you know, Donald Trump is someone that, you know, it wants to support crypto. And, you know, I'm sure there is a huge support of crypto, um, you know, moving forward now because crypto has been going mainstream. It's already in mainstream. Um, I wouldn't even say it's going mainstream now. And, um, you know, the likes of a potential um, U.S. president, you know, talking about crypto and, you know, showing that much support uh, can have, a, you know, a positive impact. And that's exactly what's happening. But, you know, this election is still not over. That's what I said in my Dogecoin update. You need 270 to win and it could go either way still. But the fact that, you know, Donald Trump is in the lead, it has pushed uh, a lot of excitement in the crypto space, especially Bitcoin pushing towards an all time high. So, you know, give yourself a pat on the back if you're still here. If you're still here, give yourself a, a pat on the back because you guys deserve this. Um, you know, the, this is, um, you know, this is what the market is uh, made of. And um, a lot of people left this market, believe it or not, but a lot of people, um, you know, are still here. Um, but let me tell you, the real winners right now are, of course, the people that are here. But I'm talking about over the last few months, the real winners are the institutions because they're the ones that drove the price of Bitcoin to the likes of all time highs. And you're, they're the ones that are really enjoying it, have the biggest smile on their face because retail now is going to be picking up Bitcoin, uh, you know, in all time high zone, even though Bitcoin could put, go up higher depending on, um, you know, where things are going. And of course, if uh, election does go the way a lot of people in the crypto space are voting for, obviously there is, you know, Know, that specific sentiment that you know Bitcoin is going to start seeing that phase two uh, of its rally occurring and um, you know that's exactly what we're starting to see happen right now but like I said the U.S. election is not over but institutions have been buying you know Bitcoin on a day-to-day -day basis and they're smiling right now because they're in profit they're in profit and they have a uh, more chunk of Bitcoin in their portfolio and um, that's you know the biggest thing that people need to learn when I say people you know that's um, us small retail investors uh, you don't want the whales to take advantage of you so you can, you can see broader market, especially Dogecoin, the the king of the you know the king of the meme coin market is at a thirty billion dollar market valuation, which is absolutely crazy to wrap my head around. And you can see you know the broader market is seeing double digit gains being made right now. So beyond um, you know bullish movements happening for uh, none other than you know the broader market. So like I said, it's not just Pepe, but it's the overall market. But you know Pepe uh, is still remaining as the top third uh, in terms of market valuation. Um, uh, for meme coin category, which is insane to see. And um, I know a lot of people are kind of ticked off right now. I'm going to kind of get into the detail as to what I'm seeing. But you know, if you're looking at Bitcoin dominance sitting at, um, you know, a yearly high once again, Bitcoin is sitting at a yearly high and actually could potentially hit an all-time high when you're watching this video. Would not come as a surprise to me. 
Look at this. Bitcoin's almost approaching $75,000 all-time high. This is absolutely madness right now. But Pepe, you know, a lot of people are probably wondering, why is the price of Pepe not seeing the likes of Dogecoin? You know, these move Dogecoins is making, why is the price of Pepe not doing that? Settle down, realize what's happening with Dogecoin recently. You're actually seeing Dogecoin being talked about more than ever uh, since the year of 2024 even started. Um, the, you know, the, this last two to three weeks, the amount of Dogecoin is being talked about is just absolutely insane. And of course, it's bringing a lot of excitement and Elon Musk is tweeting I'm sorry retweeting uh, some of these Doge tweets that are coming out as well which of course is going to bring in a lot of excitement but uh, I don't think you know crypto or even Dogecoin need Elon Musk but that factor is playing a huge role right now but you can see the price of uh, Pepe is up right now which is of course really nice to see facing some key resistance of course you know especially the one uh, you know from its previous all-time high but if this is able to pop out guys I think you know Dogecoin could I'm sorry not Dogecoin I think good old Pepe could break uh, past another zero and we could start heading towards the likes of these October highs that we have set for ourselves I still am quite bullish on Pepe um, I think you know it has built a lot of uh, um, you know presence for itself and it shows that it's not here to play the fact that it's still ranked as the top third in terms of market valuation speaks a lot for my, myself and look at it from just a Shiba Inu standpoint Shiba Inu has a 1.2 billion dollar market cap but Pepe had I'm sorry not a market cap the 24 hour trading volume but Pepe has a 2 billion dollar market I'm sorry 2 billion dollars uh, trading volume which tells you everything you need to know in terms of which coin has more interest but let me know down below what you guys think love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out